Standing at Good morning, I look like trash. But oh well. It is Sunday morning, so it's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. Do not know how I'm awake. I went to sleep at 4 o'clock. Like, something gone 4 in the morning last night. I went through a really, really emotional night. My brain started thinking about things. But then it got me to clear my head, which is a good thing because now I'm feeling really refreshed, really happy. I'm really motivated to get on with the day and start getting on with my life. Basically, I got really upset about being single, as sometimes you do when you've been single for your whole life. And a guy has recently hurt you. Now, I don't know if I actually mentioned this before, but back in uni, I was dating, like, seeing this guy called Ben for the last month of uni. And things were going great until he told me he couldn't reciprocate the feelings, which, okay, fair enough, I understand. Like, you tell me this, but I got really upset about it because he seems like a decent guy, he is a decent guy, and I was like, well, if a decent guy can't like me, then who is going to like me? I went through the phase of thinking, no one is going to like me, but then realising that it's not always about finding a guy, I shouldn't be happy, shouldn't rely to find my happiness on a guy. And that one, and I was watching, actually watching some YouTube videos about this all, um, last night, and it really helped. And I found two more YouTubers now that I'm actually in love with. Um, and I watch their videos. I will. I've been watching this girl's videos. Um, now after last night, I watched. I watched until I was asleep, and then I watched another one this morning. Um, I won't say names because I can't remember, but I will. It will be in my top ten YouTubers blog post, which will be the one up there after the one I'm writing now. So there's two more people to add, which is good. Anyway, today is Sunday, and it is the 1st of July, first day of the month, starting a new weekly vlog. If you didn't know me, because I just ran on about being single, if you didn't know me, my name is Amelia, and I upload twice a week. I upload on Thursday, which is a normal just sit down video, and I upload on Sunday, which is a weekly vlog, or is aiming to be a weekly vlog. So, today, I'm not going to do a morning routine for a video, but I might show you what I'm doing this morning. Um, basically, just to tell you, I've got to make a coffee in a minute. I'm then going to tidy my room, so I might time lapse that, and then I'm going to um, try, maybe try and read a book for a bit and chill, clear my, like, make sure my head is clear, mind is clear. Um... So what I'm basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to read my book and have my coffee, but while my coffee's cooling down for a bit, I'm going to start tidying my room, be prepared. Then once my dad has gone to the gym, I am going to try and do a work workout, so I might have to do my workout before tidying my room. Mainly because I feel more comfortable when he's not here doing it, so I can do it. More time, just myself. Also, I'm using my new tripod thing, trying it out, so that's why my phone keeps wobbling and I'm sorry. But yeah, and then after my workout, after I'm tidy, I am going to crack on with this blog post because I am really motivated for it and um, I will not say it well by the time I tell by the time this vlog is up you would have seen it or hopefully seen the blog post it is basically has to deal with heartbreak or on a down day it's mainly about heartbreak but some of the topics will help when you're having a down day as well so I figured why not put it in as one I'm kind of wanted to start this thing on my channel and my blog about coffee chats coffee does work better on a have um, YouTube because obviously you can have coffee in your hand and talk so I'm kind of having this idea of doing that so well why not give it a try on my blog because I like writing and I like just writing a lot of stuff and I feel like it helps me get a lot off my chest as well um when I've got a lot on my mind it just helps me write it all down it just like helps it get clear up my head but yeah so and then tonight and then this afternoon once I'm gonna make some more blog post notes, watch more YouTube, get some more things, maybe take a break and do some reading. I need to start working my bullet journal again, I miss doing that. Then I'm going for drinks in the evening. And then after that, tomorrow I'm getting my nails done at 10am. I'm getting a full set of acrylics and I'm so excited because I haven't had a full set of acrylics since my, since my prom, which was six years ago. So it's very exciting. Like I've worn fake nails from shops. I remember for my friend's 21st birthday, I bought fake nails, clear ones, painted them silver, and had them on. And they lasted most of the night, so I got very drunk, and like two of them came up, and I was like, yeah, whatever. But, like, so I'm really excited to get them done. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, 
not much of a busy week this week, but it's I want it to be productive. I want to be productive. That's why I'm like trying to just start working out in the mornings now instead of the afternoons. And I also want to do I want to start going for walks in the afternoon because I feel like that will be another way to clear my head. And I think the thing is I get myself caught up in my own thoughts because I sit in my room all day. And sitting in your room all day is great, but you can't. It doesn't help because you're just stuck in like surrounded by four walls and you just start thinking on your own and I really want to start enjoying myself being alone on my own like alone time because when I go back to uni there's no chance of me being alone like apart from sitting like looking myself in my room great but I have all my friends who want to catch up and I want to catch up with this is really annoying um and I really don't want to be like one of those people who says I can't meet up I want to be alone um, because I honestly, especially the first few weeks back, everyone's going to be back and it'll be like, kind of reuniting because I'm trying to go back early September. So, yeah, I so that's that. I also have a video going up today at 3pm, it's my latest weekly vlog, so please check out that and I am going to go make a cup of coffee. It's the same. I've read about three chapters of Girl Online or Going Solo and basically trying to finish this book because I started reading it last year when it came out and I was putting myself into the reading mode but now I'm like trying to read in the morning at least for a bit when I'm drinking my coffee because it, instead of being on my phone like just try, I don't think I need to take away from it, not spend too much time on social media like have a bit of time away from it especially in the mornings um so there's that. Oh, I just got my friend's birthday present. And I haven't got my birthday present. Yeah, I figured that one out. I think I know what I'm getting her, but it's like, yeah. Um, anyway, going back to what I was saying, um, I'm really going to finish this. Do about 15 minutes more tidying, and about quarter past nine, I'm going to do a workout. Um, and then finish tidying, and then I don't know what I'm doing. After. I'm gonna figure something out, but I'm definitely motivated to do things, and I want to keep myself motivated to do things and keep my mind to it. Also, it's Ella Henderson in the background. I'm gonna stop this before I get coffee right now, so I think so. Yeah. Okay, it's been late now. It is like half nine now. Um, when I last vlogged, I think it was something to nine, getting right up to nine. I was drinking coffee. I just finished my coffee. I'm about to start my workout, got my water ready, and I'm not gonna walk into my room right now. I'm playing Taylor Swift, I think it's playing here, but I'm about to do my workout. I do a 10 minute one, which is on YouTube. I'm kind of gradually working my way up to doing more, but because I haven't done a workout in so long, I feel like I'd rather just start off slow, get myself prepared for it, and then once I've got into it, I can start getting up and doing more. So I'm gonna do this for 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna. Wash my face, cream my face, you know, get rid of stuff ready, and then I'm gonna continue tidying. Once I've tidied, my dad should be home. By the time my dad's home, I'll help him with cooking. And I might put makeup on just for the sake of it today, but I probably won't because I'm not going anywhere apart from a walk. I'm going out tonight, so I'll put makeup on for that, but yeah. Anyway, time to work out. Just finished my workout. Generally feel better. Time to go wash my face and do my skincare routine quickly um to show you the products i'm going to use because these are i'm going to use the simple kind skins purifying cleansing lotion i'm out of breath i'm sorry the simple kind of skin facial toner and for the face wash which obviously i'll do first is the kind of skin moisturizer face mask face wash and then for cream face cream oh you know when you put things away and you don't remember where you put things? Mm. I was what else I wanted to use but I do not know where it is. Um, 
it's oh, I'm just gonna you know, I'm not in I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother trying to find something. I wanna find I wanted to use the Garnier one which I have I leave at home for the purpose of when I was at uni. I had left my other one at home at uni so I could use the other one but I do not know where it is right now. So we're not gonna use that one, we're gonna use the Be Ready Day cream. Um I do wanna get more skincare stuff, I know there's a lot more. I wanna get the T zone stuff, I wanna try that. But I might wait until I start working and actually have an income coming in or when my deposit comes back from the house from the place I stayed at uni this year. I would I would put you on a time lapse while I do my skincare routine, but I'm just gonna quickly just just do it. So I'm trying to figure out where to put the camera. Where let me put the phone while I do it all. So I will be back with you guys. ASAP when I can next catch you up. Who knows when that will be? But I'm gonna put my music back on, face do my skin, sort my hair out, finish tidying up. Yay! And I need to open these blinds and get some light in here because it's very dark and misery in here, and that's not what I need. So let's do that. Okay, so I feel like I'm vlogging a lot today, and I'm not doing anything interesting, but I feel like I feel like just doing it, you know, because I enjoy it. Anyway, I am about to make my breakfast. I'm going to have a bowl of cereal. I'm going to try and do it without sugar for the first time ever in my life. But I need to be cutting out the sugar in my life. I eat too much sugar. I really do. I have two Battenbergs in my room. And I'm like, I want to stop eating so much sugar because I really feel unhealthy. And um, I turned my hair up into two little space bonds. But it looks like a mess. I'm going to put a bandana on when I get back in my room. Because then I can cut my hair out. Because my hair needs washing, and when it needs washing, it gets really thick and it looks horrible. The baby hairs come out, and I'm just like, we need to cover that up. So, we're doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm after I've had my cereal, I'm hoping dad won't get home so I can do a bit more tidying and then I can help my dad with the lamb. But so far, my day has been good. It's only been, I've only been up for two hours and I feel so much more happy and productive because one, I got up early. Two, I had a coffee and read a book. Three, I did a workout. I feel more motivated to get on with my day and I feel more like if I do this, I'm gonna be more productive. I'm gonna be more focused on what I wanna achieve and I am gonna be like more learning to love myself and that's what I need to do, what I really need to do. I think last night it hit me in the head that I can't sit myself, I can't spend every day sitting around my room moping and being so like down about being single and really I need to love myself and be fine on my own. I don't need a guy and it's the truth is I don't need a man. I only really need to be happy in my own way. My I need to be happy for myself and do all things I'm I'm good I'm I'm so good before I went to uni with alone time. That I think what is this the fact that I'm at home and I'm spending a lot more time on my own and not with people and because at uni you spend a lot of time around people, like your flatmates or your friends that you and now adjusting to the fact that I'm now away from all that and I'm back on my own in my room lot, pretty much like locked away from like my friends I've seen them so it's like it's nice it's now I'm getting back in that feeling of being alone and having to do it on my be on my own and not see a friend like not have run to a friend when I'm upset like I usually do when I'm at uni so I think it's good though to get back into that swing of being alone like not being alone alone like knowing I'm not like I'm not lonely I've got friends and I've got people to go to but and I've got my parents here but it's not like just doing stuff on my own and actually just being able to sit in my room and be on my be able to be happy but be happy with myself and my own company and that's why I need to sort of I spent especially this week I just spent all my time sitting in my bed with my laptop that all I want to do is take naps when really I need to like take a break from that and do other things and not just sit around on my laptop all day so I mean I know I know I have a blog and so I have that to work on but I can't it's not I can spend all day doing I can I can, um, could have like time away from doing that and do other things um, and that's what I'm trying to do and also sit at my desk with my laptop and not my bed because if I sit in my bed with my laptop I'm gonna fall asleep and that's one thing I hate because I feel like I waste a day and I feel miserable so that's that anyway enough of my little life talk I need to make my breakfast also so my breakfast is made that's what I was going to do, and now I'm going to go eat it and watch some YouTube while eating my breakfast in my desk and my room. And I think the reason I'm vlogging is because I like like a lot today because I'm feeling so positive. But we're not going to get back in our life. So I don't want to spoil what's going But yeah, so I'm feeling very positive today, and I'm learning to, and I need to be more positive. So. That's just what I'm going to do. I think it doesn't help. My dad's not that positive, and I'm around him like 24/7. And it doesn't help. Oh, 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 oh. But anyway, I'm gonna go and chill, watch some YouTube, and eat my breakfast. But I'll catch up. Okay, so it's now like I want to say half eleven. 
I have finished tidying my room and I'm very very happy with how it is turned out um, and I've now got my bullet journal out ready for later it's literally just this pink little book and I am going to work on it over after lunch at some point yeah this afternoon um, gonna help my dad prep dinner for tonight it is a lamb tonight I'm excited um, I love my roast dinners, that's one thing I've missed about being home at high uni because the only roast dinner I ever had at uni was Christmas dinner because I was just like, I'm not cooking myself a roast dinner every Sunday and a, fair, and a flat, we just didn't do, do it. And to be fair, like, it wasn't a point, but it was a good Christmas dinner and I'm grateful for James who cooked it. Um, so, um, but yeah, I really felt so productive this morning. I obviously did my workout, I read a book, or well, I read my book, had my coffee, did a workout, tidied my room. So, so far today, it's productive. And I have also created my weekly goals, um, list of what I need to get done this week. Um, and so Monday to Wednesday, I've very, I've kind of packed myself up busy. And so I'm really happy, it's actually on my wall just here and literally got so much stuff on it. But yeah, so I feel like I need to take about a five minute break and watch some more YouTube until my dad is ready for my place. Um, until my dad is ready to do the, the lamb. So, yay, I'm really in a good mood and I'm happy about that. So, okay, so, so it is now the afternoon, I have got a cup of coffee, my second cup of coffee of the day. Um, yeah. Like, it's here, in my stitch mug. I need to call it my stitch mug, it is stitch. It's stitch from Lido Stitch. And my blog post is ready to write, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Three paragraphs in, I started, this is all what I did yesterday actually. I am now doing my bits, the rest of it today, so I can start the next one tomorrow, and then I can start and take the, I, basically, I, I want to schedule a few up ready and have a schedule for this as well, like I do for my YouTube. Um, but it's, I think with my blog it's gonna have to come when I have motivation and right now I have a ton of motivation. And my next blog post is actually gonna be quite easy to write because it's about my top 10 YouTubers, so, yay! Um, I'm gonna try and find a podcast to listen to as well while I do this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna listen to Lady Gang again because I literally love Lady Gang. Or if I'm going to listen, find something else, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some Googling. Um, but other than that, yeah, I had my lunch. It was great. I had a bacon sandwich. I loved it. Bacon and garlic mayo sandwich. It was absolutely amazing. I helped dad with sorting out dinner for tonight. And now, I am, and I'm feeling very productive. So now I'm going to work on my blog post and I'm going to work on my bullet journal. And then I'm going to maybe read some more of that book. Because I'm literally, like, getting back into reading again. After just reading a few chapters this morning of Girl Online going solo and I don't know if, who's read it and who hasn't but I've literally got to the bit where Nora Flynn is back so for anyone who has read that book yes I'm sorry for spoilers and if anyone hasn't read the series I definitely recommend you go get those three books because honestly I fell in love with them and I know it sounds so cliche it's a YouTube who um, and that, that was obviously how I was going to buy it because I was obsessed with Zoe I cannot wait for her cordially invited book I'm not going to lie um but it's true um but yes I'm going to drink my coffee Write this blog post and listen to a podcast, and I will catch up in a bit. Hello, it's a bit later now, and I have come for a walk. And I forgot to take my allergy tablets, and I hate people to, and now my eyes watering and I'm really itchy, and my nose keeps like going really sniffly. So. That's great, so I'm probably not going to stay here that long, but I just need, needed a break from being indoors and I needed fresh air. So we are at the common. This is a place that actually has so many mums on me. Go away. I don't like really, I don't like bugs, that's the problem with me being outside. But I used to come here all the time with my guy group and we used to play like rounders, cricket and other like little games around here. And when we used to go into the woods, which is over there, and it's fun. So just come out here for a bit of relaxation fresh air as well and then I'm gonna head back and home and then finish my blog post and maybe get another cup of coffee because who knows I'm, I need to drink more water though 
like I came out it looked windy from my window so I expect it to be kind of cold and actually it's not it's quite hot outside still so I should have put my bottle of water with me but oh well but it's really nice just coming out on my own and just chilling here and as we speak I have a video just gone up like my last weekly vlog has just gone live so that's that but yeah so I'm just gonna chill to my music for a bit and sort out some stuff and then I'm gonna head back home and get on with my vlog so yeah just thought I would update you that I'm on for a walk and it's actually really nice when you come for a walk and just come here like, I forgot how relaxing this place is so okay so in order to get home I've had to go a longer way around than I wanted to but the crossing where I usually cross is well let's just say it's cut off so I actually have to go a long way but I'm not going the way I would usually used to go for college so it's kind of good but where I was sitting flies didn't want to leave me alone and yeah it was pretty much a lot of flies everywhere but anyway okay, I'm gonna get home so I look slightly different and no it's not a new day it is still Sunday it is about 10 past 7 in the evening and I'm about to head off for drinks I've done my full face of makeup I've actually decided to go all out there I did a concealer blusher a highlighter I haven't done bronzer but I I don't really do bronzer anymore so um deal with it <laughs> and I've done my eyeshadow with the soap palette my ritual and um, there will be a blog post coming up soon as about my review of the eyeshadow palette um, I've done my mascara but right now I'm not sure what lips to do I'm thinking of just going with my L'Oreal palette Paris um, nude on fleek but I'm not entirely sure if I should go for a darker one I think I'm going to stick with nude and natural today but I can't, oh where's my um, I want my Kiko lipstick I don't actually know where that is um, but I think I might go with that one because I love that one more but I'm not sure I think that I've got to literally make my mind up soon because I've got to go in a minute so I need to hurry up, I need to get a move on I've got my new, I've got a new look top Mercy, it says Mercy on my new look skirt on and my Primark um, Converse van things and I'm pretty much ready to go I just need to do my lips and get my jacket ready for on the way back because I don't know what time we're leaving I've already had a drink I've had my Strongbow Dark Fruits I've got one more left in the fridge that I will probably drink tomorrow night but yeah so excited to see my friend um I actually love this highlight. Like I've done two highlights today. I did one from the this priming with the stars benefit thing I've had for years. But it didn't do much so I also used my strobe highlighter from Revolution because I trust that more. So yeah, but I'm about to do my lips and then go. But I will probably catch you up tomorrow morning with another start of this weekly vlog. I have a feeling this vlog is gonna be end up being long because I've just vlogged a lot today. But I feel feeling positive today, so that's why I did it. And I'm sorry for the fuzziness, my blinds are closed, and there's light coming in, and it's a bit meh. But anyway, I will catch you up tomorrow. Or later tonight, I'm not sure yet. Bye. I'm not gonna lie, it seems so weird of how quiet this area is right now. I usually walk down here, to be fair, I usually walk down during the day, and it's during the week. And I'm not gonna lie. It's usually like busy rams of people, not ram of people, but people always walking at me and people always behind me. And I'm not used to vlogging in public, but this is very weird. But yeah, I'm very excited to see my friend. So I wasn't going to update you, but I feel like I might as well while I'm walking. Um, I'm actually desperate for the toilet right now. So like, I think I'm going to do is find a place to sit, make my order on my phone. And when I've done that, I'm going to go to the toilet. And so I can use it because I'm dying. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna probably end up catching up tomorrow. But good morning. Um, I'm wearing the same stuff as I wore like yesterday in the beginning of the vlog. It is Monday morning now. It's ten past nine. I have fifty minutes to my nail appointment, and I'm so excited. So I'm not doing a workout this morning. I'm I need to do one this afternoon somehow. But I, I'm go for a walk. Um, but. Yeah, I have a new blog post going up at 3pm this afternoon as well, which I'm very excited about. 
and yeah i just read like about 10 chapters of girl and line going solo and drink a cup of coffee so ready last night was good going for drinks with my friend was good it was good catch up and it's really good to know when i'm feeling better how just about better myself that i actually realized how much of a fantasy it was about me wanting to be with ben it wasn't that i wasn't to be with him i was pretty much just in my own fantasy world believing it was something but it wasn't so it's very good to know in my head that that's that part of my life now is over and it's time to move on and be happy um Anyway, so I really need to get myself ready, I need to clean my teeth, I need to wash my face. I need to find something to wear. Um, and yeah, I'm just very excited to get my nails done. It's been a long time. I need to make sure I've got my student card as well. Because, just in case I ask for student ID, because I'm getting a student discount. Yeah. But yeah, and I've also found out at the end of the week I have a £250 coming into my account. Mainly, it's my, basically it's my deposit from the halls I was living in last year, this year. And um, I get the full amount back, so I'm very excited about that. Because that means I for £200 I can spend. So yeah, anyway, I will keep you updated as what happens during the day. And I'll definitely show you my nails because I'm, I'm really excited. Very nervous because I've never had fair force nails, like, acrylic nails in a long time. But I'm very excited as well. Well, good afternoon it's 10 to 1 i did start my vlog this morning when i was in my pajamas remember but i've been out been to my get my nails done and i got this nice like pinky color and i'm really really like, i'm in love with them like literally in love i'm still so scared i mean i'm only the first time i've had them for a long time i'm so scared they're gonna break off but we won't think about that so i'm about to have my lunch i bought pork pies because i think my dad's not home and i don't have to, I don't have to worry so so you do, when your dad's not home you buy food because you can't be bothered to make things. Not because he gives, it just it gives me a chance to buy stuff because he won't let me buy food and have like food from the shops. You have to like eat stuff that's in the flat, which is, to be fair, probably a good thing. But yeah, so I'm not sure what plans are today. I need to go for a walk. I'm meant to do a workout, but I'm tempted to skip it today. Um, I need to work on my new blog post. My latest blog post the one i'm up is gonna be up at 3 p.m today so i'm very excited for, well i'm very excited just to go up and see people's responses and stuff but yeah and i need to photocopy some stuff today so i think today's gonna be a chilled afternoon because that's all i'm looking for it's so hot outside i'm tempted not to go for a walk because i've just been out all morning since like half since 20 to 10 i left my um i left my flat and i haven't been back since so yeah um so i think i'm gonna just clear up this mess of my makeup from last night and this morning and then put my laptop on and just chill but i will catch you up later or whenever something happens let's just have a talk about how whenever i last vlogged was when i got back and i think that was about something to one and it's now five to six and i have done nothing today okay i did finish girl online up going solo to learn Zoe's last book but other than that I have done literally nothing today and it's like it's really aggravating me I've created the banner for my new blog post not done anything that what my blog post went live half an hour late because I didn't realize my time zone on blogger was all the way down to specific specific standard time and when I had it scheduled it was going to go up at 3 p.m in PST instead of in British summer time so that would have been midnight. It would have been midnight and I would have been asleep. Well, I would probably wouldn't have been asleep, but still. Um, but my hope for this af after dinner is I'm going to have a chilled... Okay, so I'm watching Shrek um, in the back, so you can hear the background. But I'm about to split the screen around, but basically I'm looking through my... I'm trying to find photos of when me and my best friend were younger. Um, for because her birthday is literally in half an hour's time. She's only 21, so... And I'm going through the old photo when I was photo when I was like a toddler and oh my god. Oh, it's like a smiley kid, like look at me there, look I was like about two there. But like seriously, how cute was I? I was such a cutie. So I'm gonna look through that to find um some pictures of my me and my friend when we were kids. But then I'm also gonna look through this but I bought some urban outfitters. I basically only bought it because I wanted to buy something from Urban Outfitters and that's the cheapest thing I had on the bike was like £9. And it's this thing called Project Happiness and it's like 273 little tips and big ideas for finding joy. So I want to look through this because the video I want to film tonight is also based on the blog post I just like, um, posted today. So um, 
and I kind of feel like if I read this, maybe it'll give me some help as well for that. So I will probably catch up tomorrow. Um, it's time to just chill. So. Okay, so it's now Thursday and it's half five in the evening. I've kind of, I forgot I didn't vlog yesterday, but to be fair, my vlog I've already like edited it together and it's already thirty minutes long. That I'm really not gonna. Do vlog much more this week. Probably haven't got any more interesting things happen to vlog, and I'm probably gonna end the vlog either today or tomorrow. Probably today, because I'm not doing much tomorrow, um, and I'm not doing much Saturday. But I'm going to an anniversary pa party with family, but I won't vlog that. So, um, but literally, I'm in like, the most the best mood ever right now. So basically, I'll explain. A couple of days ago on Tuesday, I was pan I was panicking about having to retake my economics and I was like, I can't do it, I really can't. I looked at the um, retake, what was there for the referral, what you had to do to retake, and basically you had to answer six questions about, six questions, what am I saying? Six questions that were actually, they were all the exam questions, but you had to answer all six of them and you had to choose three in the exam. I got 15 marks in the exam out of 100. So you can guess the fact that I didn't understand that subject in the fact, like at all. And luckily, luckily, they do this thing where you can get compensated. If, say, you failed one exam, one unit, but you passed every other unit, so it's only one unit under 40%, then you might be, able, might be able to get compensated. And I spent two, the last couple of days panicking that they might not allow it. I got 32% and I was like, they might not allow me to... Um, Pass. They might just say, yeah, you've got to re you've got to retake it. I just checked my my port and found out that I am um, got compensated pass for that unit, so I don't have to do no retake. I am absolutely buzzing, so happy about that. So I'm like, if I found it, because literally I was so used to seeing like second attempt and then like provisional to chain. I looked on it, and it said progress, and I was like, what? I was like, oh my god. So I just went down. I was like, oh my god, I got compensated pass. So I'm now ready i'm a second year student and i am so ready to start back in september and start second year and focus more i think my reason i didn't understand is because i didn't focus i didn't do anything i didn't do the reading i didn't do stuff i was meant to do because i was just like i can't be bothered but like this year next this second year because it's meant to get harder anyway i'm going to do more focusing work harder and actually try my hardest to get a good grade next year and come out with a 2-1 instead of a 2-2 so then like when I go to a third year after my placement year I can go yep I'm gonna, I want to get these. I want to graduate with a 2-1 and that's really it so. anyway well that's my lowest I want to get is 2-1 when I graduate but I'm very happy I'm like I'm honestly I'm, I'm so buzzed that I don't have to retake and I do not have to think about that now so I can just think about working because I, I start back at my job next Monday and I'm honestly so excited to be back um I did mention I got a base case to work at shoe zone before, for three years before I left for uni and I was so sad I actually missed it so now I'm really glad that I can go back and do it for like temporary but it's great so I go back on Monday and I got a shift next Wednesday as well, so that's exciting. And also, I'm excited. I'm going to get money for my deposit, and it should come in tomorrow. So, I'm so ready. But anyway, I'm leaning on this. I did say my end today. I'm actually going to end the vlog now. Realising I'm probably not going to vlog anything else tonight. I've got no reason to. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to watch Love Island tonight and chill. So, I'm going to end the vlog now. And I will... I will probably start vlogging again on Sunday or Monday. It depends. I want to try. I was going to try and do another weekly vlog, but I don't know. So if not, I'll try and do a sit down video. I might be filming a shopping haul very soon, so that might go. I could probably go up on Sunday after. I'm not sure. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there is a video up tonight, as a, so it will be up the one before this weekly vlog, and it is my top ten musicals. So please give it. Make sure you give it a check. Um, you checked it out. Anyway, if you, um. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog or whatever and please give it a thumbs up if you did, please comment down below. If you think I should stop these weekly vlogs, feel free to tell me. So, um, please subscribe and maybe hit the notification bell and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye!